glad you came. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad you did too. Really, I really enjoyed this little journey. It's just been a It's been a, a mixed bag of every day is different. It's just been great. The whole experience has been wonderful. I mean, from this to old friends to new friends, new fans, old fans, people reaching out, social media. You know, hey, are you still married to Martina? You know, crap like that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as bad as it gets. I've been very fortunate that I haven't had a lot of weird negatives. I know it can happen when you throw yourself out there, and I do all the time. But uh, it's just been very, uh, very positive, very encouraging, I'll say that, including tonight. This kind of keeps me going on to the next gig, this show right here. So, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Anything you guys want to hear that I haven't done or that you... Sacred ground. Oh my gosh. Hotels and highways. Trick riders. Trick, Trick riders. Trick riders. Okay. All right, pace yourselves. I'm going to need you at the end. Hold on. <laughs> Don't throw all your enthusiasm out there all at once. I'm going to need it. I'm going to be begging for it towards the end. Those are all good. Because I love you like I do, I want to try one that I haven't done in forever, but I love this song too. I get so many requests for it. It wasn't even a hit. It was just a song off of our album, but it connected with so many people. And when I go back and listen to it now, it's 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 written pretty, it's written in a very clever way. I'm, I'm glad my name's on it because I'm proud of it. Um, it started in a roundabout weird way. My great aunt, Billy McBride, is a badass. Yeah, Billy McBride for starters. Her. She uh, she was mowing her lawn with a cowboy hat on like two days before she died. And uh, still a badass. She's a five-time world champion barrel racer. Talk about back in the 50s. Uh, four Four-time uh, consecutive uh, winner. And uh, she's in the Cowgirl Hall of Fame, the Rodeo Hall of Fame. She's uh, just a, the epitome of like a cowgirl, you know? And uh, so I was thinking about her, and I always did. There were promotional pictures of her, like with a boot on each horse, you know, wide open, hauling through the arena. And she was a trick rider after her after her barrel racing days were over. She became a professional entertainer, trick rider, on the rodeo circuit, and she looked great, lean and mean, and really had a fantastic look. So I always had that in my mind, and that's where the title came from. And the song is sort of a mixed bag of that. I grew up next door to my grandparents. They're in there. But it's more than that. It's about, if you're going to make it, you need to stand out sometimes, you know? Whatever it is you're doing, especially in this business, you know? But in any job, really. Because uh, it's the trick rider that steals the show. That's the whole thing. So maybe I can get through this. It goes like this. 